what what is up guys this is jordan sky back here again to check out some cards that you might be looking at for the nba playoffs yesterday which was the golden state warriors game versus the memphis grizzlies game steph curry lost i think steph curry cards might go down for the meantime will they have a breakout season with clay thompson next year maybe don't know all speculation right now John Morant is, if they bounce a team out of the playoffs, I don't know. <laughs> that would be crazy. If they bounce the Jazz out of the playoffs, I think John Morant's rookie cards, select rookie, not select, but certain rookie cards will go up. Today, we're going to look at John Morant. I have to put this as a preface beforehand. If you're buying anyone during the NBA playoffs, there is a chance that people already have the supply, as you'll see right now, um, and people are just trying to get out. So you have to be careful. If you are a diehard Memphis Grizzlies fan and you buy a John Morant card, uh, just be careful. Do some research. Just don't go onto eBay and buy it now. Be careful with your money. So right now, we are going to look at the Prism, the Prism cards for John Morant. If I were to buy anything for John Morant right at this very second, it would not be a Prism Base PSA 10. It would be the Variation PSA 10. Why? Because there's a population of 446 of this card in the Variation where it has a different picture when he's doing a layup. Whereas the Prism Base, which is the most abundant out of the product, has a population of 16,027. So I would not suggest touching this base card. Would not. What I would suggest doing is buying the variation. It's a little bit more expensive. Let me just do this. Really. Oh, shit. Okay. But let me look at this, the variation. But there's also a... There's all this stuff. There's so many rookie cards for this seven for this 18, 19, 18 clock, 1920. Sorry. Oh, uh, but I'm looking for one other thing, but it's not popping up for some reason. Fast break variation. There you go. So PSA 10, if you're going to invest in anything, I would highly suggest getting PSA 10. It's the most liquid. You don't have to really talk people into buying it. It's the best condition. And it's the best overall investment. So you can see that there is 400, now 446 of the variation base, but in the fast break where it has the little bubbles on it, just a little bit different artwork, a little bit different foil, that this one has a population of 128. There's only 128 of them. And this is a rare card. And people have opened a fuck ton of 1920 Prism. I don't know how much is still sitting in wax. I have no idea. But this is the play. This would be the move. If I were to buy any John Morant card, it would have to be it would have to be the Prism fast break variation. And like I said, I don't own any, so I'm just putting it out there. Low population equals the opportunity for a pop so especially in these playoffs if you own one already cool good for you uh if you're looking to buy one be careful this stuff is crazy expensive if you have the capital you have the money you enjoy the hobby you enjoy cards go for it i don't see any type of problem with it um the only thing that could happen is they get bounced out of the playoffs you think the memphis Grizzlies will win a championship I am not expecting it, but I would say I wouldn't personally buy right now. I might be totally wrong. They might go to the championship. They might win. I have no idea. But there is a possibility of them losing and the price on these cards dropping even farther this dude's now two years into the league. I think he's a star, but I don't know how sustainable his card prices are. 
So I just wanted to jump into the next player that we're going to be looking at is Steph Curry. Uh, I didn't even know he had a bum in. I just want to look at tops. Tops Chrome, Tops Base, PSA 10. So you can see on just the trend line that it looks like it's going down a little bit. And the last sale that it has loaded, which was on the 30th of, of April for the base PSA 10, which has a pop of 355, but they just got bounced. So I kind of want to go to eBay. I kind of just want to go to eBay and Steph Curry. Tops. Rookie. PSA 10. No, I'm kind of in the way. So there's a raw one being sold right now. 351. I want to look at completed items. Sheesh. Uh, this going by. Hmm. So a base. That didn't sell a nine didn't sell at thirty two fifty. A nine sold for sixteen hundred. That might be interesting. Huh. The gold sold for two thousand eight fifty. Boom. PSA ten. Right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yesterday. Because they got bounced. Because they got bounced, this card went down. Oh no, it went a tiny bit up. Tiny bit. $250 more. So it like stabilized. This is like the flat line. Will it go down more? Maybe. No idea. But once people know that it's once people know that someone's out of the playoffs, people start looking at it as a buying opportunity to make money. So I don't know what could happen with these cards. Do I think they will go down a little bit more? Yeah. Is there a low population? Yeah. If the general public hops in, will this be one of the cards they might look at? Yeah. So that's my sum up of John Morant, Steph Curry. And just thinking about what's happening with the playoffs. I know the Clipper game is going on right now. I'm going to turn it on, watch the Dallas and Clipper game. Uh, and we're going to go over tomorrow, well, tonight for me, but tomorrow for you guys, of all the playoff matchups, what's going on. My Lakers play today. I think they're playing right now, too. Um, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, if you have any player that you want me to check out, let me know. Comment it down below. Smash that like button. Destroy that like button. And I would appreciate it so much. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe.